Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Alpha Media Political Seminar. My name is Mark Thomas, and I'm the market manager for Alpha Media here in the Bay Region. Um, to give you an idea a little bit about my background, I'm a graduate of Whittemore Prescott High School as well as Central Michigan University, uh, where I graduated with a degree in political science and have over 40 years of radio experiences as well. And uh, thrilled to be here today to hopefully be able to pass on some information that uh, will help your campaign in the upcoming election. It's hard to believe that uh, we're almost through uh, both of the conventions uh, at this point, less than 70 days away from the election. And congrats to the candidates that are on the call, because obviously uh, you won the primary uh, elections, and now it's time for the general election. I hope you find that the presentation is helpful, and please feel free to uh, ask questions as we go through. Um, what we're going to cover today and the goals of today's meeting are how do we best reach uh, today's voters? Um, COVID-19 and absentee ballots are obviously a, a big issue. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about purple voters and what they are. We're going to discuss traditional media, digital media, and social media. We're going to give you an opportunity to be able to be a part of an interview on WSGW prior to the election. And obviously, we'll have time for questions and answers at the end as well. Uh, absentee ballots will obviously have a huge influence on this year's elections. Um, all voters have been sent appli uh, absentee applications. And in addition, it was just announced they will be uh, sent reminder postcards about absentee ballots being available. Um, the fears with COVID-19 and going to the polls obviously have a huge impact there. And boy, where we'll be with COVID-19 by the time we get to the election. Um, you know, the result is that we're going to have an earlier and longer voting season. Folks that maybe normally didn't worry about exactly who they were going to vote for or what they were going to do until a, a day or two before the election, in many cases now, that, that voting timetable will take place uh, weeks, maybe even months or so in advance of the election. So in regards to how to promote and getting your name out and advertising, it's gonna have a huge impact. And so you're gonna really want to consider starting your campaigns earlier to make sure the voters know who you are. And uh, again, that lesson being promote yourself earlier and get to those voters. We mentioned about the purple voters and, you know, obviously there has been a lot of talk about red and blue uh, voters over the last few years. But when you look specifically here in the Bay region at the last presidential election, there were actually more people that didn't vote than voted for either of the candidates. And so from that standpoint, please know that the more you're able to promote and help promote to get out the vote, the, the better chance you're gonna have those purple voters really, like I say, outnumbered either one of the candidates. So again, the more aggressive you are with being able to advertise and promote, the more you'll be able to help get that vote out. Traditional media, has normally driven a lot of what happens with elections, specifically with television. That's where the vast majority of all the national dollars get spent is in television. But a couple of things to keep in mind about broadcast television in our area. One is that we're in a combined market. It's both Flint and the Bay region that make up that combined market. And again, depending on how your district lines are drawn and where your area is, uh, that may play to your advantage or it may create a lot of waste. Uh, cable and Dish, again, uh, may be able to help you from that standpoint, but they have fragmented audiences also, not only based on geography, but based on the fact that more and more people are cutting the cord and have less access to those cable providers, but also less access to their their local television stations. Over the top television has become a very popular option, and that's where folks are able to reach you through 
Roku and those type of devices. And again, as you can see, as we're going through all these areas, television is becoming more and more fragmented. And as a matter of fact, in today's world, radio is the number one reach medium in the country, just surpassing television a couple of years ago. And the last point is, and, and I think everybody kind of realizes this, is that the national and state campaigns really crowd out a lot of the local races from television. Uh, and we are in Michigan in certainly one of the battleground states for this coming election. So I would expect that you're going to see, um, boy, just a ton of national and regional advertising uh, for state Senate, those sort of things um, on our, our local television stations. Newspaper, uh, again, is, is experiencing a, a continued decline. Uh, today, the, the circulation of the three dailies represents about 8% of the total population. Um, prices continue to rise for not only buying advertising, but as well even purchasing a newspaper. And what we're seeing here locally is less and less local content and virtually little to no reach of any of the younger voters at all anymore. Billboards um, can be a great vehicle if you have a brief message and um, you're able to target that within your geography. Uh, the catch with billboards is they tend to be pretty expensive, but certainly provide a, you know, I, you talk about the ultimate yard sign, uh, a billboard uh, along the freeway can, Get you a lot of name recognition. Radio um, continues to reach over 90% of the total 12 plus population on a weekly basis. It allows you to target by format and audience and even to a um, certain degree geographically um, based on that particular radio station signal and coverage area. Um, it also allows you the opportunity to communicate a detailed message by using up to a 60 second commercial. Here's an illustration of how the different mediums um, we were talking about, how their reach has uh, been affected. And as you can see, radio is the top reach uh, provider in every demographic with the exception of 50 plus. So again, radio does a great job of being able to reach a very broad and mass market for you. And again, to give, to give you an idea of the consistency of radio, if you go back to 1969, 92.7% of the population listened to radio. That's back when we we're uh, excited about men walking on the moon and through Elvis and Reagan and everything else, and up to today, uh, the Great Lakes Bay region, boy, coincidentally, the, or, or the average reach is 92.7%. So you can see people continue to listen to their AM, FM radios. Digital has obviously changed uh, the world, including traditional media. One of the uh, products that we have access to is a product called Analytic Owl, and what it allows us to do is to be able to track when someone runs their commercial and the direct impact that commercial has on their website activity. And it measures it within an eight minute period of when that commercial runs. And we've been able to document that radio does a great job of um, driving web search. So when you're running your commercials on the radio, not only are you telling those people that are listening, but you're also going to see an increase in the number of people that are going to your website to gain more information. With all that in mind, uh, I'd like to introduce to you uh, Daryl Jacobs, who is our digital specialist here at Alpha Media in, in the Bay Region. And Daryl's going to tell you more about digital as well as social media. Daryl, can you take over, please? I can. Thanks, Mark. Uh, we know that uh, digital has changed uh, everything. And so if we could go to the next slide. No. How about one more? Yeah, that'll work. 
Perfect. Okay, well, I'm going to take just a couple minutes. I'm going to talk about uh, what we call targeted display advertising. And that's specifically those ads that follow you around the internet. We've all seen them, you know, where you look up some shoes and then for the next three weeks, immediately you start seeing ads for shoes or cars or photography equipment. And um, we can now do those for you uh, specifically to help out your campaign. We deliver the ads uh, on smartphones, on your laptops, on your tablets, on your desktops. No matter where you're at on the internet, we can deliver the ads there. The, the thing with targeted display advertising, it allows us to reach the right people at the right, uh, in the right place at the right time. And that's real uh, important, uh, especially uh, because we're trying to target the people that are actually going to vote for you. So what we do is, is we can use uh, demographic information. So we can target your audience and customize it. So if you're trying to reach women 25 to 55, uh, we can do that. If, if you want to reach women 25 to 55 who are married with children, then we'll target and customize just that audience. Another thing we can do is we can target geographically. So if you're trying to reach uh, just women in those age ranges who live in Midland, or just in 48642, or just on Coolidge Drive in Midland, or just in Saginaw, or just in your congressional district, we can do that also. We can specifically customize the campaign where we're only reaching those people. One of the fun things that we can do is we can geofence. You guys have might have heard about this, but this allows us to put a fence around a building uh, where we can target the people that walk into that building and start sending them your ads. Maybe you're trying to reach people that uh, shop at um, Walmart uh, in Midland. We can send your ad to people who shop at the Walmart. As soon as they start walking through the doors with their smartphone, then we can start serving them the ads. Another thing we can do is we can do something called addressable geofencing. Um, this is, uh, think of it like digital direct mail. So you might have a list of people that you are trying to reach. Well, we can send your ads to their home addresses every single day, a digital ad. If you don't have a list, I can create a list for you. You tell me who you're looking for, what that person is like. We can create that list and only send the ads to those people. We also use site retargeting. That's why we tell you that your website has to be um, relevant and up to date because when people come to your website, we're gonna keep sending them your ads so that they keep going back. More times that they return to your website, the better it is. Uh, obviously we use keywords, uh, anything that people put into the search engine, say they're looking for representatives near me. Well, you want them to see your ad if you're running for a representative in the area. Another thing we can do is what we call mobile to social. And <clears throat> if we send out your ad and somebody sees it on their smartphone, we can also connect it automatically to their Facebook. So now you're not only reaching them where they're at on the internet, now you're also reaching them where they're at socially. Mark talked a few minutes about over, over the top TV advertising. The one thing that I wanted to mention about that is we can use the same information, the same demographic and geographic information to send your uh, television commercials through OTT targeting those exact people. And one last thing about the ads, uh, you've seen them all over the internet and you know they're different sizes. And so we'll create, we do all the graphic design for you and we'll create all the different sizes so that they show up the right size wherever they're seeing uh, your ads at, whether it's on the laptop or on your smartphone, so that it's the right size. And that's what I got, Mark. Great. Um... Boy, uh, another new product that we've recently started to work with over the last couple of months is tied to social media.
and it's called Social Stream Live. And it gives us the opportunity to be able to do interviews that are um, very professionally done. We're gonna give you an example of it here. And where we're able to send it out to the Facebook or other social media um, names that you, you've been able to collect as friends, as well as through the radio stations, uh, friends of Facebook and Instagram and the like. So it's really, really a pretty cool product. And we've got some, some, an example here to be able to show with you. Uh, there's zero setup and it's a, a pretty economical. Let, let me let you take a look at it. It does come with audio as well, um, <laughs> and hopefully we can figure that out here. Come in for your staff that is working at home, but obviously another portion of it has to be, you know, in, in the facilities. Um, so how how has this affected customers and the services uh, that they come in for or want to come in for? That gives you a pretty good example. That was Jim Biggins, who is part of our Moose Morning Show. So. Part of what we provide is a professional announcer who's able to conduct a great interview. Again, you'd obviously have an influence in deciding that. Um, but as you were able to see on the screen, there's plenty of room to be able to promote and advertise your name, any other uh, scroll at the bottom to be able to include any campaign issues and the like. So again, if it's, it's another new way to be able to reach consumers, which means it's another new way to be able to reach voters. So. Again, another option for you in regards to how do you let folks know about uh, your campaign. Um, as Daryl had mentioned earlier, um, to give you an idea from a cost standpoint for digital or uh, targeted ad display, um, for 100,000 impression, the price is about $1,200. And again, there's a lot of options that go along with that. Below, you can see an ad for stars where it gives you an idea of what that ad would look like. And from a radio standpoint, we wanted to give you an idea of what the cost might be. This is a, a campaign um, that includes both broadcast uh, radio as well as our streaming uh, commercials. And gives you an idea from a pricing standpoint for the Moose, WSGW, AM and FM uh, with, with campaigns on both of those stations, um, Mix as well as KISS. And again, there's a number of different options that come in play, but we wanted to in both cases at least give you an example of what those costs were like. In addition, uh, for, for being on uh, the webinar here today and everything, uh, we'd like to uh, invite you to do an interview with Michael Percha from uh, the radio station WSGW, and that'll air on the air prior to the election. Um, if you don't mind reaching out to Michael, that'd be great. If for some reason you forget, we're going to have a list that we provide Michael with so that he can reach out to you as well. And so with all that in mind, uh, you know, to give you a quick summary, I uh, want to make sure that you, you know to get those, those absentee ballots out as quickly as possible and get your message out to those folks that are going to be filling them out because that will happen real soon. Uh, spend your time and your money where your voters are at. Uh, Social Stream Live is a, a good option. And, and again, we'd be happy to tell you more information about that. And good luck and thank you for being a part of the political process. Uh, at a time that uh, politics isn't always seen as particularly glamorous, it's folks like you that, that make our democracy work and a sincere thank you for being a part of the process. Can open it up now uh, for any questions that anybody may have. Good morning. Uh, I was going to ask about a copy of the presentation, uh, but it, on that last slide, it said uh, that it's available at wsgw.com. Uh, yes, that's correct. 